welcome back to my channel this is glam crazy i'm going to introduce you to another quick weave this wig is maze balls like when i put my pictures up on instagram i got so many likes so i know this is going to be your favorite as well the look is really easy so stay tuned Ripping the 44. I was just a youngin', but this type of shit I seen before. Y'all see a white boy, but my daddy a Negro. Half breed mother. I guess you can see I've already done my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. I'm probably gonna do that in another video. So I'm gonna get straight to the foundation. I'm taking L'Oreal Paris Infallibles Pro Matte and 109. And also um, this is Fit Me. In 355 I'm mixing those bad boys together just because my um, infallibles is a little bit of light. it's a little too light but just this combination together is just they're both matte and they just go well together it just gives my skin like that nice glow and it still looks natural and at the end you'll see the glow that I'm talking about but this is beautiful so I'm just taking my brush and I'm just blending that out I believe this is a technique brush a real technique brush I have to look at the name I kind of just found it again so I was like oh I haven't seen you in a while let me use this so I'm really just usually I will use a sponge on my face to do my foundation but because I found this brush I was like okay let me bring it back next I'm taking my NYX palette in deep and also my toffee um in LA girl pro and first I'm starting off with my um I guess you can say it's the caramel color in the middle of the palette and just applying that bad boy to my areas and then I'm also taking my toffee and going in with the same color and then that same palette I'm contouring out with that brown color was, I really don't use this palette so for the results I was kind of shocked I was like wow because I couldn't find my concealer bag and just finding this like okay let's go ahead and it just came out really really nice so I'm so glad this worked. It really did look good. Next, I'm just gonna. Oh, and this brush is Crown. I actually, um, Crown brushes. I actually got this in an expo that I went to for free, so I'm not sure. You might want to check out their uh, website. Next, I'm just taking this off name brush and applying my Laura Mercier. For some reason, I cannot get the technique right, so less is more with this product. Unlike my Sasha powder and all my other Benet by Nye powders, you can kind of kick it on and let it sit. But with this, I just found out less is more. So then my favorite, my fan brush and my blunts, I'm taking that straight to the cheeks, bending it out. And next, I'm taking another blush by Blunt. It's called Raisin. And I'm just going in and just really sun kissing it out. Making those colors pop from my eyeshadow right there into my cheeks. And then my favorite uh, Stardust Powder, Star, <laughs> Star Powder <laughs> by Bridget and Gerald Cosmetics. It's one of my favorites. I have three just because I love them so much. This is some lip balm. Just a hint, if your lips are extra dry, just take some baby lips, lip balm, and apply that to your lips. Then this is NYX Lip Liner in brown. I couldn't find my cork, so this is the next thing to it. And I'm just really outlining my lips right before I put on my lipstick. Then next I'm taking Please Me by MAC. And applying that all over. Mm, I love doing that because it just blends out without you having to take out a brush. Next, I'm taking my Lily Lashes. My Lily Lashes. These are so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And tees. And these are her 3D lashes, I believe. They are so gorgeous. I'm going to apply them off the camera, matter of fact. And it's so pretty. I forgot to tell you that I apply my must -eve black liner in smudge proof. It's up there with Inglot. I got this at an expo and it was, it's up there. Now I'm just blending this product on out. Blend it out, blend it out, blend it out. Apply my Fix Plus. Yeah, got kind of confused. <laughs> On which way? Next, I'm just gonna unrelease my hair 
you know my step if you watch my 11 how to uh, style video you just take your product put your wads on braid down your hair I went different this way I went back instead of around the crown but it worked all the same this is my ultra quick weave in 1b it's so pretty I was just kind of amazed at how pretty this thing was. I didn't think it was going to turn out the way it did, but I just snapped this bad boy in, click, click, and did the two curls that I have in the front. Remember, when you're using a quick weave, never comb the hair, never comb your hair when you're trying to blend it in. Just finger that bad boy out, and it's going to look real. These rappers records coming out, they so repetitive. Can't remember what was playing in the background, but I was feeling it, feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. So now, now that I applied my fix plus, so I was about to go back with some um, powder. I just applied on my face, just kind of blend it out even more. I'm taking Mac, then I'm taking my highlight by my star powder again, just highlighting my cheeks to make sure you guys can really see the glow on camera because I see it but I just want you to see it and I just want to glow because the glow is real honey the glow is real I was feeling it you know how you look good and you just start mm -hmm. I don't know what was playing in the background but once I popped on that bad boy wig ooh, yeah feeling it I'm feeling it I'm feeling myself 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 so yes ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this is a really quick tutorial everything will be listed below and oh i forgot to add i added a cover girl this color is 650 just to give a little pop on my lips a little gloss thank you so much for watching peace